Okay, firing up the vacuum gauge here. It's a field piece SVG3. Hold it down for one second. And the vacuum pump I've got here is a Robin Air. I'm going to hook this up. I want to show what happens when I change the fluid on the pump. And so it will pump down uh, to a lower micron level. So I've got this connected up. Let me kick this on. There's 96 microns, 95. Tighten this up a little bit. Put it down to 70. This cap, I need to put a metal on instead of the plastic. It's down to 67 microns pretty quick. This is the fluid that I took out. And it hasn't really had that many usages on it, but it's got some crud in it. And this is a humid area, so it's got some sediment in here. This is a peanut butter jar I cleaned out. But before I change this out, it says it'll only go down to about 400 microns. And this is an a Robin Air pump. It's a... One five six zero. It's a six CFM two stage pump. It's a pretty good pump. I've had this for probably twelve years. I think they still have these as used refurbs. And then there's some newer replacement models. It says it'll go down to twenty microns. I'm not sure. This doesn't have that many hours on it. It's down to fifty five. Begin by just changing the fluid. what I put in it, some Robin Air premium pump oil. And what it had in it was some fast vac vacuum pump oil. I put that in uh, I think one or two changes ago. Holds about 15 ounces. So this is a quart. So you can put about one of these quarts will end up using for probably two different changes. It's down to 52. And here's the drain on that. So I put this up on some blocks here and drained it into this. And you can keep on using this stuff with more goop in it, but what happens, the um, dirtier oil is not going to pump down as much. And so I was going to put a mini split in here and just hooked up the uh, vacuum gauge and only pulled down to about, I think, 450 around that range. And with the same gauge. And I said, well, the oil looks fairly good from the site, but there's a lot of crud in here. So when you vacuum out a system, of course, you're pulling the stuff through the pump here. And so changing the fluid, the uh, vacuum oil is good, you can get a lower vacuum. And then also you may want to use gauges here, it's a yellow jacket gauge, it's hot, low permeability. If you use regular um, hoses, this is a cheap Chinese set here, it's only like 40 bucks off eBay for three with a valve. You're going to get some leakage through the darn uh, rubber. This is a high quality hose, I think just single black hose costs as much as the entire set the unknown set so this is a uh, designed for vacuum so it's got less less loss through it again that's the uh, field piece vacuum gauge I've got a blue vac one that kind of grew legs it's in my bag that um, I've got to fish out find out where it is but this is just a simple gauge Okay, the field piece here comes with an adapter, and it's got a 15 minutes, it shuts off automatically in the batteries. I've used this a couple times, pretty good meter.